Palahabach, the fifth month in the seventh week on the third day. Lightweavers. And now it's time for the strangest order, and I can say that with authority because studying this order is what got me selected for this project in the first place. The Lightweavers are strange not just because they are artists, renowned the world over for their stubborn refusal to act like everybody else, but because they don't worry so much about the things that most concern the other orders. They don't tie themselves to rules or rituals or even oaths. I mean, they call them oaths, but really they're just truths. And they're not bogged down trying to find the great truths like the truth watchers do. They're just acknowledging truths about themselves as individuals. The other orders stand on ceremony or tradition or arcane systems of laws and rites and organizations. Light weavers just get the job done in whatever way is best, beholden to no one but themselves. And they use art to do it. I think a lot about their oaths. Why speak truths about themselves? I have a theory. First of all, it's important to know who we are. That's true for everybody, but I think it's especially true for artists because they live their lives in fiction. Lightweavers are the spies of the Radiant Orders, skilled in subterfuge and trickery. A Lightweaver spy might have to spend days or even years pretending to be someone they're not. What keeps them grounded to reality? Core truths about themselves. When you know who you are, you can see the world through others' eyes. This helps you to infiltrate an enemy organization, sure, but it also helps you to understand people to empathize with their needs and fears and desires, and thus give vital context to actions and decisions that might seem ludicrous otherwise. When you can put yourself in someone else's shoes and see the world as they see it, and still come back to yourself, you find a perspective that's impossible to get in any other way. <laughs>